What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is me Kaga, and today you guys we are here to bring you guys another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coverage video. Last time we talked about the leaked Pokemon, this time we're going to be talking about their abilities and the new moves that have been leaked and as well as the descriptions of said abilities and moves and the Pokemon they pertain to. We're going to be breaking all those down for you. And again, I am not alone. I am joined by my buddy Joe. He can say hey. 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 How's it going, bud? Hey. Oh, it's going, man. You know, just here in the dark, um, recording on my laptop. Hopefully the sound is a little better. We did get a microphone. You do so, sound better, uh, in my opinion. Just actually, it sounds worse. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Honestly, you didn't sound bad last time, but I, I, I really feel like you sound better. Um, by the way, guys, make sure you go ahead and check out Joe's channel as well. Him and I have a lot of things planned for when Scarlet and Violet come out. So go ahead and check him out. I'm sure you'd appreciate that. Drop him a subscribe. Link is in the description. Make sure you do that. Joe. Yeah. You All definitely right. don't want to miss the 800 part of Minecraft LP2 in the future that we're going to do. Uh, maybe gosh, maybe yeah. when I get to a million subs. <laughs> maybe then I'll do a Minecraft yes, LP. Sir. All right. <laughs> that's, that's how confident I never will get to a million subs because I'm never doing a Minecraft LP. He will. We'll see. All right, so Joe, are you ready to break down some abilities? Yeah, um, I guess quick disclosure, we're not like the go-to guys for competitive Pokemon, I would say. I think that's fair to say, right? Yeah, I I mean, we, we both have dabbled. We both have played it quite a bit, but we're definitely Master not- Master Ball tier gamers, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're definitely not the end-all be-all, but we, yeah. we both understand it at least to a certain degree, I would say. Yeah. I, so, I don't want to get, you know, 100 hate comments saying, how dare you? This is yeah. really good. And I'll be like, I didn't know. I'm <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we, uh, we have a defense mechanism in place. Yes. Right yes, we yeah. do. We have a major defense mechanism in place. Yes, <laughs> I like the way you think. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's just kind of dive right in. So first up, we have what is the ability for Oink Cologne or possibly only for the males? We have Lingering Aroma, and the description is contact with the Pokemon changes the attacker's ability to Lingering Aroma. Uh, we've seen abilities like this before in both uh, Kofagrigus as well as Runarigus uh, with Mummy and Wandering Spirit, where it essentially just negates the other Pokemon's ability and kind of just makes it worse overall. Um, personally, I don't know how effective this is going to be. Uh, I don't think it's that good, but I don't think it's that awful either. What do you think? Bruh, it's on Oink Cologne. Who cares? Like, actually, <laughs> like, I'm serious. It's not a bad ability, like you said, but you got me. There's no way that thing's gonna be used in competitive. I would, I don't, I mean, I guess there's no worlds. Like, I mean, you could use it. I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is it's, it's not only cooler, man. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, it's, it's the like early game on that kind of just fades into the background a little bit. I don't know. People love LeChonk, though. Maybe it'll be the new Wulu. We'll see. Uh, yeah, though, I, I think it's a fine ability. I don't think it's great. It, it's, it's decent. Uh, we've seen it be good on on Cofagrigus and Runerigus, so maybe we'll see. I don't know. I, I don't think it'll be that great, though. All right. You want to take the next one? You want to start here? Yeah, so if the doc is correct, it should be Seed Sower. Yes, sir. Which turns the ground into grassy terrain when the Pokemon is hit by an attack, and it's on Arboliva. Yeah, that's... The um. Yes, yep, sir. small of evolution. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um... So grassy terrain is not bad, but I think electric terrain is definitely going to be the go-to terrain for this gem because Abs of the future Pokemon. Yeah, absolutely. And you got to make contact. I mean, I think this Pokemon's relatively bulky, but I mean, I don't think grass is a great defensive type traditionally. So a lot of weaknesses. I, I don't. I would kind of maybe echo my sentiments for the first thing I said. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, it's not on a Pokemon I see having a lot of competitive success, but I think this one maybe would be more inclined to find competitive success just because i mean bulky grass pokemon in the past i mean they've had they've had a time to shine you know tangro for one so, oh definitely yeah i don't know that's pretty much all i gotta say yeah i'm pretty much on board with that um i think that it's kind of cool because with grassy terrain also boosting your grass type moves uh maybe it boosts your giga like if it uses giga drain or something it boosts the power of that so you get more hp back and then also since grassy terrain heals you anyway maybe it's a good way to like keep your hp up but um, you do still have to take damage for that to happen, so that's not the greatest. I think it still could be pretty decent. 
especially if there aren't really a ton of Pokemon that set terrain anymore, like how like Grassy Surge and Electric Surge and all that. So I think this could be pretty good uh, in certain cases, but overall, eh, I don't know. I think you said it best. Electric Terrain is going to be the go-to for sure. Yeah, I guess it's kind of good that it's a reactive ability. I mean, you have to get hit to trigger it, and it's good that it's on a really slow Pokemon because yeah. then you can get the bonus limit, like you said. I guess it's the only thing really worth note, but yeah. Yeah, this thing, I, I, I think it had like base like 29 or like 39 speed or something, so it's pretty dang slow. But yeah. even still, like, I, I can see this one going either way. Like, it could be good, it could be really bad. Electric Terrain seems busted, so that's kind of where I'm, I'm placing all my chips this generation, so we'll see. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Thermal Exchange. This is the signature ability for the new Pseudo Legendary, uh, that being Arctobax, Frigibax, and Baxcalibur. Uh, and it says, boost the attack stat when the Pokemon is hit by a fire move. Uh, the Pokemon also cannot be burned. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Uh, I feel like it the burn aspect of it is probably pretty good. Um, just because I believe this Pokemon's highest stat was its physical attack. So not being burned and not taking that half a reduction because of you're getting Will-O-Wisp or because someone gets a really lucky flamethrower burned or something. Um, that could be pretty good. So you're not getting basically just completely nerfed during the battle. Um, it does seem a bit situational for the attack boost though. It kind of seems like you have to like switch it in on a fire type move but your opponent can also play around that uh so i don't know i could see this being pretty good overall uh i don't think it's amazing but the not being burned aspect i think is pretty good what about you uh i think it's really good actually just because it boosts the physical attack and the fact that you have a physical attacker that can't be burned i think if you're a really smart player that's just such an insane pivot you know what i mean you could mm -hmm. really punish just a really terrible player and i think this pokemon unlike the previous two it's going to definitely find a niche in competitive. Most of the pseudos historically, you know, they're pretty good. You know, they're, yeah. they're not bad, especially yeah. in limited formats. Like this is going to be at least at the start. Uh, I'm a fan. It's definitely better than the first two. And while I'm not a fan of the new Pokemon, I mean, this is a pretty cool exclusive ability and one that I definitely think is it's pretty good for like what it is. That's fair. Yeah, it's a good yeah, point, I dude. Know. It's good. I think it's fine. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that I have to compliment a... Uh, that that pseudo-legendary? Yeah, I'm, I'm maybe, on board maybe, with that. Maybe we'll come around and maybe we'll love him. You know? No, maybe. I don't see that happening. Oh my god, <laughs> open your heart up a little bit. No, I, I, I have a very open heart, but uh, it's not open for that thing. <laughs> the door is locked tight. Oh my goodness. I do not like it. Anyway, before I get roasted for not liking a pseudo-legendary, take oh. us to the next one. That was an insane uh, pivot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's insane. Uh, anger Shell. When the user's HP drops to half or less, the Pokemon gets angry. It lowers its defense and special defense stats, boosts attack, special attack, and speed stat. I believe it's just a singular boost and debuff across the board. Yes, I believe so. Um, it's like a pseudo Shell Smash, which mm -hmm. I think is okay, but I don't know how I feel about Cloth for competitive because pure rock. A lot of common it. weaknesses. And half or less, I mean, I feel like you'd probably make this thing maybe pretty bulky. You know, you probably want some bulk, you know, as far as the EVs are concerned. So I could see situations where you really have to, like, metagame for it. Because I feel like if you make this thing too bulky, you're not going to trigger the effect at mm -hmm. all. You're going to be, like, sitting at 65% and they're going to, like, mess you up. But I think it's one of those abilities, too, where if you're just a better player and you have pretty good grasp on the metagame in a limited dex format, I think it could be pretty good you know, especially this thing i don't know what this thing's move pool is but if you get a, like a shell smash type move like you know you pivot into this like you calc it you pivot it in get down to half trigger it and then like they freak out or they pivot like you can set up a set of move and then kind of go to town i could see that but i don't know cloth is kind of not great i don't think i don't remember but i don't know it's whatever i guess is what i'm trying to say i gotcha uh, yeah, I'm kind of on board with pretty much everything you said. My only thing, too, is, though, I wonder if this is, uh, repeatable. Because, like, do you know how Drampa, when it gets below half because of its Berserk ability, gets special attack boost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, anytime it goes back over 50%, if it goes back down again, it gets another boost. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That could be... Definitely makes it better, but I don't know, because it feels like they try to check abilities in this gen, like with the Protean thing. It does seem like but it, yeah. It but, in, but Intimidate is still fine for some reason. Like, I don't... They basically you know, they also like, made another Intimidate, essentially, but we'll get we'll get there in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's on Cloth. 
Who cares? I guess is really what I should have said. I, I like Clough. I'm gonna definitely try this out, especially if this thing does get Shell Smash too, because if you get Shell Smash up and then your opponent knocks you below half because of your lower defenses, you're getting plus three in all three of your like primary attacking stats and, and speed, of course. So that could be just like a really good late game cleaner. The, the only caveat is how good is Clough, Clough gonna be when it comes to like a defensive aspect because if it's just uh, getting yes. one shot the entire time there's no point but if you can I hang on with like focus sash or something you might be okay sorry go ahead no you're i was gonna say i it was all me trying to interrupt you um <laughs> i will say yes i love historically i love quote unquote rock type cleaners because rock slide just you know it never misses you know it's just such a good move no it's perfectly i could just like um, stone edge never misses when you needed it to it's okay. always reliable yeah yeah it's a great move anyway <laughs> Speaking of rock types, am I right? Speaking of rock types, and one of my personal favorite rock types from this generation so far, we have the Purifying Salt ability, which is exclusive to Nakli or Nakli, uh, Nakel Stack, and Garganical. Uh, the Pokemon's Pure Salt protects it from status conditions and has the damage taken from ghost moves. Um, I think it's okay. I don't know how often the ghost type uh, move damage reduction is going to come into play. But if this thing is a decent assault vest user, it can kind of just sit in front of like good special attackers and good physical attackers as well. Um, but the status conditions part, I think, is the primary aspect of this. It can't be burned. It can't be toxic. Uh, it can't be put to sleep. All of that. Um, I think that's pretty good. Uh, the half damage from ghost move just kind of seems like it's tacked on a little bit. But yeah, I, I think the status condition aspect is pretty good overall. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's a I think it's a good one. What about you? Yeah, um, I think the ghost type part of it is more of a convenience than anything else. I think it's definitely like a, an ability more geared toward like a playthrough, maybe. You know? Yeah, I can agree with that for sure. When you kind of know enemy move sets and you can do some little strats and have a safe switch in, mm -hmm. but I think the status condition thing is kind of insane because. That's like everything, right? Like burn, paralysis, poison, all that, right? Mm-hmm, I believe so. That's, and I mean, I just think of immunity like for Snorlax, like, and that's just really like only poison, I think. It is only that's, poison. That's, this kind of covers that, right? all your bases kind of nice, I think. Yeah. Especially because I believe this is a physical attacker, so. Yes. Again, it kind of reminds me of the thermal exchange, like save you from burn, save your physical attacker from burn. If you're like a smarter player, you have more game knowledge, that could be pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think the Pokemon overall could be pretty good as like a Trick Room attacker as well. Um, yeah. So the added aspect of not being able to be burned and like you said, having its physical attack again will definitely be pretty useful, I think. So yeah, I'm completely on board. I think I think it's good. Yeah. You know what else is really good? Take it hang away. Gliding. <laughs> and you know what, hang gliding and <laughs> tails. Riding on the wind, baby. We got Wind Rider. No, we will make body <laughs> I was wondering where you were going. We with ruined this. it. Oh my god. Oh dude, I wanted to. You know it's not ruined. I made some cookies the other day and they were really well baked. And you've really been working on your your body, right? You've been no, working I've out been, a lot. I've been, neglect, I've been neglecting it. I've been oh. grinding Arceus to make so I can get it off my switch and make room for Scarlet and Violet. Yep, anyway, I need, I'm gonna need to do that too, actually. You know, well well baked body. Uh, the Pokemon takes no damage when hit by fire type moves. Instead, its defense stat is sharply boosted. So I believe that's a plus two boost. Yes. Um, it's on Doc's Bun. Who cares? <laughs> uh, again, it's a good. It's like Flash Fire esque. Mm -hmm. Right, I think that's what it's called. Yep, flash fire. I think like just flash fire, your fire type moves. It's like yeah. a solid ability. I think it's way better for like a playthrough. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, there's like a you take this to fight that Melichick, the fire team star gal. She kind of just sits on, I, sits I in front have of a it. Good time, not mm -hmm. good time at all. You yeah. Wait out some fun, you know. If she sets up some crap like that, maybe too. You just free win. But yeah, I think it's definitely a better like playthrough ability. I don't think it's a bad ability, but. To find ability on a Pokemon that I don't think will be very good. Even That's fair. Limited decks, but I might be wrong. But, mm -hmm. yeah, what do you think? Um, I'm kind of on board. I don't think it's as good as um, Thermal Exchange, uh, just because uh, on a pseudo getting an attack boost, regardless of what your attack stat is, it's always going to be pretty good on a pseudo legendary. So getting that, you're already going to be getting something pretty good to help you out. Whereas like Doxbun, I don't know quite how good its defense stats are going to be. 
Um, maybe this thing gets like decent oh, bolt. It's made out of eclairs. It's not. It shouldn't have good defense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, I don't. I can't see it like having like a great defensive. I think the immunity to fire type moves is pretty cool. Uh, like same thing with thermal exchange. But I think thermal exchange is getting the better secondary effect, being the um, increase to defense, uh, instead or inst the increase to attack instead of the increase to defense. Um, so that's why I think Thermal Exchange is better overall. I still don't think it's bad. Like you said, it's on Doxbun. Who knows how much competitive play this thing will see. But overall, yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Uh, I definitely think Thermal Exchange is the better of the fire nullifying abilities. But it's not bad. I, I, could, I could see this having some decent use. Yeah, and I think just as a point moving forward, I think what would make these abilities, like, like they're really good abilities, but I think more geared towards a playthrough, but what would make them, like, S tier for competitive is if this was on, like, a grass type or something that just had a weakness, like a flat-out weakness to this type, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and I think we're going to see one of those in a little while. In fact, maybe even uh, right about now, oh, yes. speaking of grass types and speaking of hang gliding, too, we have, the... Over, yes, sir. <laughs> we have the Wind Rider ability, uh, which is exclusive to Bramblin and Bramblegast, the Tumbleweed Pokemon. Uh, this boosts the attack stat if Tailwind takes effect or if the Pokemon is hit by a wind move. Pokemon also takes no damage from wind moves. Right off the bat, st attack increase during Tailwind, absolutely massive. That is... But bro, what's a wind move, bro? So, win. that I have absolutely no idea. I have no clue. I don't know if it means like Hurricane, like Wing Attack, Air Cutter, Air Slash, one of those. It was Flying Move? Oh my, double S tier. Yeah. But just the fact that when you have Tailwind up, like specifically I'm thinking doubles, like if you send out like a Whimsicott or something, because it has Prankster Tailwind and all that, um, you are basically giving this Pokemon double speed and a plus one attack boost and allowing it to go f basically first immediately and just kind of destroy something. I think this ability is really good. An attack boost on a physical attacker plus double speed for basically nothing is amazing. That is inc inc crazy good. I don't know how good it's going to be in singles, but in doubles, I could definitely see this being pretty good. What about you? What are you thinking? I don't disagree, but I guess I would like a clear definition for a wind move. Yeah, I can definitely agree with I think we, once we have like the full definition of wind moves, maybe I'll be able to make a more educated decision one way or the other. But yeah, I, I definitely think we need that. Sorry to interrupt like almost, you. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Because I feel like almost for like battling two... I mean, this thing stats, I assume. I, I, isn't this already, like, really fast? Like, doesn't even need the Tailwind proc. You know what I mean? Almost. Um, it feels like it's kind of overkill to a degree. Maybe a little bit, yeah. I'm not quite sure what its base speed is. It see, it's. It, I think it's. I think, like you said, it's a really good doubles ability. But I wonder if you would even then say pair it with Whimsicott or maybe something else, because for team building, like, two grass types. Yeah. Know. I'm sure there are also other mods. I'm intrigued by it, because... I do like Bramblin and the line, and I think that it definitely will lead to some more theory crafting early on. Like, people are definitely going to try it out, and I think that's cool, you know? Oh, for sure, yeah. So, I'm a fan of that. Absolutely. But I, you know, I'm not a fan of... What's that? Dog. It's kind of messed up. But, uh, <laughs> guard but is it dog. incorrect? But is, is it incorrect? Uh, I'm, I'm more of a bird guy, let's just say. We know. But, uh, guard dog uh, boost the Pokemon's attack if intimidated moves and items that would force the Pokemon to switch out also fail to work and Mabostiff has it the, the best design Pokemon ever clearly, <laughs> clearly, clearly, clearly. Um, I'm going to read this again boost attacks that if intimidated is okay moves and items that would force the Pokemon to switch out also fail to work that's also interesting mm -hmm. um this thing's a dark type. I don't know if its stats are great. It's kind of a weird one. It is a weird a, ability. It's I was kind of three that. abilities, no? Yeah, it's like three um, kind of whatever abilities. It's like you know? defiant plus like um, like sticky, not sticky hold, but like uh, isn't there an ability that prevents Pokemon from like I guess no retreat but no stat boost kind of. When you put it like that, it sounds awful. But yeah. I guess not as bad. Because, I mean, no retreat does. I mean, that's a move you have to use. Yeah. Plus, like, turn. plus like it f makes it so you don't have to switch out. Whereas, no retreat, like, you you physically can't. But this thing, like, if it gets all roared. my integrity out the window, I don't care about my boss diff. So, I don't <laughs> ability. Uh, Kai, take it away. Um, yeah, it's it seems okay. Uh, boost the attack staff intimidated. I don't know if that's one stage or two. If it's one, that's just worse defiant. If it's assume, two, I'd that's just defiant. Say, uh, I, would, I assume it would say sharply boosts. So essentially, it, it, it so 
then essentially it's canceling out an intimidate which isn't great i mean it's not bad that's not bad but it's not great um those items that would force a pokemon to switch out also fail so you can't be red carded up uh, <clears throat> which is kind of cool um you can't be roared out or dragon tailed out um that's kind of cool but besides that i don't think it's that great overall maybe it'll see some play in singles i don't see this really being like a thing in doubles because really like i don't think roar and dragon tail and all them are too common um so i don't know if this thing's gonna get that much play but overall i i think it's okay and i think that's the best i can give it but also what i want to i believe if i i mean i read this a couple days ago i think this pokemon also as a secondary ability can get intimidate is that not just better yeah i honestly think that is better <laughs> So, yeah, like a lot it. better. It's just yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. Intimidate ability. It, it's it's such a good ability. It's one of the best abilities ever in Pokemon, like by far. By the way, you just know, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you you can take the transition, but just real quick, I uh, while we were talking, I googled Brandy Gas, uh, Bramble Gas base speed, uh, base ninety. So not too fast, but not oh, bad. I it way better. It does have He's so one... aerodynamic. What? It has 115 attack though. Base 115 attack. Wow. Oh my god. 15 attack. Dude, right below that, Mabostiff base 120 attack. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm 80 wrong. 85 speed. So not very I fast, think... but that 120 attack is insane. It's the laziest design. <laughs> And also, uh, people are going to flame us for this, too. Uh, <laughs> uh, Doc's Bun has base 115 defense. <laughs> oh, no. We're done. <laughs> Guys, we, you, should put a you should put a little thing up at the beginning. It's like... We have no we idea what we're talking about. We will, we will acknowledge our mistakes. It's fine. I still I stand by my, what I said. I don't think the abilities are that great. Wow. Based, based and true. I'll let you uh, take the transition. Go for it. Yeah. Um, this transition... Was a little rocky, or like rocky payload, <laughs> some would say. Which powers up rock type moves, and my boy Bombardier gets it. Uh, this is Steelworker. Yep, absolutely. That's exactly what I thought when I saw this. And I don't know. That's it. That's it. It's it's gonna be cool for a playthrough to get some half decent rock type moves. Three okay. stabs. Three stabs. Yeah, three stabs is cool. Yep. Three stabs while not being the rock type. It's yep. Kind of good. Yes. Where I feel like Delmai is a kind of hurt like. In theory, you could argue it's better than Steelworker because it's like hmm, you have Rock Stab, but you're not Rock. Mm -hmm. That's good. Where Dumb Eyes gets Steel Stab, you're not but, Steel. You kind of wish you could be Steel. Yeah, you kind of wish know? you were Steel in that scenario. <laughs> I'd rather be a Steel type than a Grass type if I was Pokemon. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely, especially if you're something like Dumb Eyes. But yeah, I, I agree. I think this is cool. Uh, probably really good for a playthrough. Not quite sure if it's going to be overly relevant and competitive, but having that extra uh, boost being a, essentially a third stab for rock type moves, pretty cool. I, I like that. I, I always thought Steelworker was a cool ability, even if maybe Delmize wasn't the best Pokemon, but I think this is a, a cool idea. I like it quite a bit. No, definitely. I think, too, from the top of my head, Bombardier's got a lot of 80s and 90s, kind of middling whatever weirdo stats, and mm -hmm. maybe should have evolved, you know, but... Would have been nice. I don't, I, don't, I don't see it. I don't see it being too great, unfortunately. No, I don't see it being amazing. I think it's going to be pretty good, just because three stabs is, is pretty nice, but I don't think it'll be, like, anything over the top. Great for taking out other enemy flyers in the playthrough. That's yeah. true. That's true, especially if you can outspeed them. And speaking of uh, other flyers, we have the wind power ability. So going back to the wind moves here, we have the Pokemon becomes charged when it is hit by a wind move, boosting the power of the next electric type move the Pokemon uses. And that is the ability for both Watch Roll and Kill a Watch Roll. Uh, and it's also procced by Tailwind, so that's good to know. Um, uh, I'm 50-50 on this one. I, I don't really know. I feel like it's too situational, you know? I guess you yeah. can. I guess you could also do the same thing with Whimsicott. Like you set up Tailwind, and then this Pokemon gets to drop a free Thunderbolt or something. But besides that, like I feel like it's really situational. It could be like a good like one turn, uh, like powerful attack. But you'd have to keep using Wind moves on your Pokemon again. So you're also either damaging it or possibly like just spamming tailwind which i don't even know if you can do that or not so it just seems very situational um i don't think i don't think you so can. it's already up right yeah I, i'm pretty sure you can't i could be wrong about that i'm no competitive genius but i i feel like you can 
So I think it's very situational. I think for that one turn, it could probably be pretty good, but that one turn might be few and far between. That's my thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not good at all. Kilowattro has no bulk to speak of. I think an attack buff is really nice, but I don't know. Like I, oh, wait, no wind move tailwind. I would I read the wrong. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, so no, fine. I'll stay. I'll stick to half of what I said. Okay. I'll only backpedal a little bit. The abilities, whatever. Um, I think you're already pretty fast. Mm -hmm. 125 base speed. I'm looking at. It sounds sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good already. Yeah, that is pretty good. Um, but you can roll a 50 50 chance in a wild one and get bolt absorb isn't that just better i would agree i don't know yeah that's that's all i'm gonna say i would agree electric immunities are always good it's one of the best offensive typings in the game so being immune to it's pretty amazing haha -ha, one weakness haha haha -ha. <laughs> bro can they nerf the electric type i'm gonna say it, it needs to be <laughs> they should they nerf dragons do the same thing to electrics yeah make a uh... I have no idea. Light, I don't know. Light. Okay. <laughs> you genius. All right, you want to take this next one? Yeah, you're not just my genius, Kai. You're my hero. Oh, hero. wow. Together oh. with a zero to hero. Oh. Don't and call yourself a zero. Pokemon transforms oh. into its hero form, but it's switched out, and Palafin has it. Wow, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to feel about this, because the hero form is just the most insane Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. It has the stats to rival legendary Pokemon, and it's yep. pure water, which is an absurd typing. For base, competitive. just as a heads base, up. Base 160 attack. Yes, right? okay, I want to make sure you had it up. Yes. It's also it's... absurd, but you have to, like, pivot it. If it gets flip turn, I mean GG, and you give it some speed investment. Oh my god, if it gets flip turn. Holy crap, that's a good um, point. I'm going to go with absurdly moveset reliant, question mark. I think that's a, a very good way to describe it. Yeah. 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 That's, it. that's all I got to say. What about you? Uh, yeah, completely agree. I think it's very situationally good. I think it could be amazing. I think it could be absolutely atrocious. Um, 160 attack, though, that is pretty hard to ignore. Especially, like you mentioned, if it gets flip turn, you just drop a choice scarf on this thing, flip turn out once, game over, you win. So, like, yeah, I, I could definitely see that happening, but also, like, I don't know. If, if it doesn't have a good, like, move pool, then I could easily see this thing being walled by other water types or even other, like, uh, some grass types or something. Um, but 160 attack is incredible. It's it's insanely good. Um, yeah, I, I think this one's going to be pretty good overall, but I could also see it having some uh, not-so-great aspects of it. Like... We don't know if, if you switch out again, does it go away and then you have to do it again or like how that works. <laughs> so that would be that would be horrible no, and would no, make it fine. absolutely it's awful. Freak. It's Game Freak, bro. Surely, surely they balance this ability. Surely. Yep. Intrepid Sword. <laughs> what? Yeah, surely, surely. <laughs> They've never made a broken book one ever. Man. Never. Because this is the beloved franchise. They want to make competitive fun for everyone. Surely it's somewhat balanced. Oh, sure, man. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to think we're being serious. Anyway, this is a weird one that we got coming up. Um, next up, we have the ability Commander, which is the ability of, I believe, is it Tatsugiri? Yes. So it says when the Pokemon enters a battle, it goes inside the mouth of an allied Don Don Dondazo if one That's is hot. on the field. The Pokemon then issues commands from there. I so hot. <laughs> I don't know what this means, to be honest. Bro, it's a Vor ability. It's crazy. It's a what ability? I don't know, never mind. If you know, you know. Okay, I don't. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be censored, but anyway. I... Yeah, <laughs> oh, ahead. good. Um, yeah, go I, I, I don't know what the ask, what this entails. Like, is it protected from all damage and you can only attack Dondozo? Or is it like uh, you can still attack Tatsugiri, but only in certain cases? Um, I know that Dondozo gets a move depending on the Tatsugiri that it swallows. It boosts one of its stats. But I don't know if this kind of plays into that a little bit more as well. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I, I could see this being pretty good in doubles where you're basically just like letting this bulkier, tankier Pokemon take the hits for your squishy little rice baby. So I don't know if like maybe that's what they're going for, but I feel like maybe it could have some application. It definitely is going to take some interesting experimentation though. What do you think? 
So, I play Magic the Gathering, and there's a format called Commander, and it's basically last man standing, like a free-for-all. Mm -hmm. And Tatsugiri is protected, and having protection in this format is really good because it forces the other players to not attack you, and it gives you a better chance at winning. So I'm going to say it's broken. That's Dang. It. Yeah. Completely anecdotal. <laughs> I, I think you can't really make a good guess with the information that we have right now, so... That's Why fair. Not? I'll just I'll just say it's insane. It's, it's broken. All right. For no reason. You're gonna stake your <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna yeah, stake not? your claim on that. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. All right. Fair enough, dude. Just like I'm also gonna stake my claim on electromorphosis. Ooh. And the user becomes charged when hit by an attack, boosting the power of the next electric type move it uses. It's kind of like a, another ability, kind of sort of. And Belly Bolt gets it, your favorite Pokemon. Uh, uh, I told my, my brother called me too, and he's like, yeah, Belly Bolt. He's like, I, was I told him before, I was talking to my brother about the leaks. And he's like, yeah, he Belly was. Bolt's really cute. And uh, I'm like, oh, those aren't its eyes. And he's like, no, it's not. Those are its <laughs> eyes. Now he hates it. Like, yep. I feel kind of bad. I liked Belly Bolt when I first saw it. It has uh, done the opposite of growing on me. So Kai loved it, and he got harassed by 700,000 people on TikTok. <laughs> and I just he can't like it. It's understandable. <laughs> yeah, uh, but this ability, I think this Pokemon's relatively bulky, right? Yeah, I think Probably so. Bulky, but I don't know, is, isn't the stat spread kind of weird or something? I don't know. Um, I'm checking on that right now. Yeah, I can look too. Uh, uh 109 uh, HP, 91 uh, defense, 83 speed death. That's not terrible bulk, actually. And no. It's pure electric. That's decent bulk. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's good. I'm gonna say it's good. Yeah, I think it's decent. I'm on board with that. It, it, hit, your by base. Any, hit by any attack. The natural bulk plus hit by any attack. That sounds pretty nice. And it's the electric attack is stab, and it's going to get a buff. Mm -hmm. Not bad, actually. I don't know if Parabolic Charge is in this game, but if Belly Bolt got that, that could be pretty good. Like, oh, boosting yeah. up Parabolic Charge and healing yourself all that damage back. I think that could be insane. Uh, I just yeah. don't know if Parabolic Charge is in the game, though. Mm, I don't know either. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's really good. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty good. Uh, Belly Bolt's got good bulk. Um, Electric's a great type. Yeah, I think it's decent. I think it's decent at best. Yeah. And then next up, we have Protosynthesis. This boosts the Pokemon's most proficient stat in harsh sunlight, or if the Pokemon is holding a booster energy. And this uh, is the exclusive ability to all of the uh, Paradox forms that are exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. So, Great Tusk, Screamtail, all of them. Um, I think this is pretty good. These Pokemon are going to be really good on Sun teams, I'm guessing. Uh, just because I know Sun is a very prominent weather. Sun and Rain are probably the two most prominent, I would guess. Um, and being able to have like some diverse typings with that is pretty good. Because a lot of the time, usually on Sun Teams, you see a lot of, like, fire types. You see a lot of grass types because they can take advantage of that. But you don't really see a psychic fairy type. You don't really see a ground fighting type. You don't really see a, a dark dragon type on those kind of teams. So getting that boost in that harsh sunlight is really, really cool. I think that uh, it's also really great that it's boosting its most proficient stat. So that's allowing the Pokemon to not just have one stat boosted. It's allowing it to, like, be... It's allowing it what it's best at to get boosted, which is also going to be really helpful. So I think this ability is really good overall, and I think all these Pokemon are going to have at least some pretty good viability in uh, the sun. So yeah, I think I think this is a good one. What about you? I think it'll be good just because the Pokemon it's attached to are going to be independently pretty strong, and the weather's pretty common. But I am kind of surprised that this is like a weather-based one, and the other one's a terrain-boosted one. Mm -hmm. I feel like they maybe could have made this like grassy terrain because. I don't know, they could like all the plants like photosynthesize or something. You know, I don't know. But I do not know. I think it'll be really good just because the Pokemon attached to it are good. And that is all I care to say. Because <laughs> all these things are in the post game. It pisses me off. Yep. Well, uh, technically, you fight one of the. Uh... I know, and it makes sense. It makes um, sense. actually. Um, Glasses actually, push. Uh, actually, I've watched five French YouTubers already play the game already. <laughs> so. Yeah, I got him. I got him. It's true, man. There's just I get recommended all these French streams, and they all just have the game. I mean, hey, you got to flaunt it. It's not technically spoiling yourself, guys, because I can't understand anything because it's all in French. <laughs> there you go. 
about them. Just like I'm not gonna have Quark Drive because I'm gonna be playing Scarlet first. Yeah. Quark Drive boosts the Pokemon's most proficient stat on electric terrain, or if the Pokemon is holding booster energy. And all of the vile exclusive little characters get it. Uh, I think it'll be good just because the Pokemon attached to it are good. Kai, what about you? Yep, completely agree. Electric terrain definitely seems like the new best terrain. I thought it used to be psychic. Now I'm thinking it's electric just because all these Pokemon are getting access to uh, a stat boosting ability within said terrain. Um, plus, we've got the actual legendary now can set it. So maybe these Pokemon will see some play in the Ubers tier. Plus, in VGC, Coridon and Maridon might be really good weather setters or terrain setters for these Pokemon as well. Yep, I think it'll be really good. I completely agree. Could not That's agree more. Hey, guys. There's nothing more to say. I mean, hey, keep it short, sweet. Keep it good as gold because that is our next ability. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, a body of pure solid gold gives the Pokemon full <laughs> immunity to other Pokemon status moves. Uh, and this is the exclusive ability to the evolution of Gimme of Gimme Ghoul being Goldengo or Golden Go. Probably Golden Go if I had to guess. Jeez, yes, um, and also this thing not only blocks status moves, but also blocks things like Taunt, Encore, and Defog, which is a lot better than normal just blocking status move in my opinion. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that is insane. It's basically like Essentially, for those moves, it's magic bounce. Like, it, like, block. Well, actually, I don't know. Does it send it back, or does it just be like, nah? I, I can't. Uh, I don't know for sure. It says it says immunity, so I assume it just fizzles them. Like, it doesn't reflect. It just, like, stops it. Even okay. even still, that's that's amazing. Like, that's so good. That's such a good ability. I, I think this is one of the best abilities we've talked about so far. Because you're getting, immu you're getting that immunity that we talked about back with the uh, Garganical line. Your immunity to status and everything. But you're also getting the immunity to things like taunt. So you can't so people can't taunt you. You can't be encored into one attack. People can't defog away hazards. That's insane. This this ability is great. It is easily, I think, one of the best abilities we've talked about so far. Great, but I'm still gonna throw a jab at this Pokemon anyway, because it's <laughs> so. And it also is doesn't look that great. No, he's shredded cheese man, he's so cool. Shredded yeah. cheese man. Here they come, I am seeing the man. That might be problematic. I don't know if you do that. that might be problematic, actually. I'm gonna not. I don't know. Well, no. it, it's an Apple Applejacks commercial. Blame Applejacks. Oh yeah, I'm problematic for saying something. <laughs> I got myself. Oh, um, can I make a suggestion? Yes. Another something also maybe controversial. Can we uh, talk about these all at once? Because I don't care. Yes, that is fine. I'm okay with all that. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I don't care about the teapot moose. The teapot moose. Or whatever. It's wood snail. I don't care, guys. All these abilities seem really good. I think all the Pokemon will be pretty good just because the stats carry them, even the typings are not that good. That's yep. I'm going to say. Uh, yep. I think that, um, that, uh, the. Hold on, which ones? The Beads of Ruin and the Sword of Ruin. I couldn't. I. They're all. They blend together, bro. You're talking about them. <laughs> I think Beads of Ruin and Sword of Ruin are probably the best two because they lower the defensive stats of Pokemon. And yeah. like with Beads of Ruin for Chiyu, it has 145 special attack. So you're basically just lowering the special defense of a Pokemon and just going to town on it with that attack. And same thing for the Sword of Ruin for Chien Pao where it lowers the physical defense and gets to go in with 135 base physical attack. Like that's insane. I think the defensive ones aren't quite as good. But the uh, or the attack ones aren't quite as good, but the defensive ones are amazing, I think, and I think those are going to be the better of the two. Since I know you you don't want to keep talking about this, so no, let's move to some would, other would, legendaries. Actually, I am going to keep I am going to keep talking about them actually. You Go for it. About Go for but, it. Yeah, I mean, guys, these are these are modeled off of Evil Tall and Xerneas' abilities. They had to be really good. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's what I want to say. And I agree, the defensive ones are better because not all Pokemon will use the attack special attack stat. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. That's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you actually talked it. about them. I pr I'm proud of you. Oh my goodness, yeah. But you know what's not it? What's Ori not it? Bolt. Oh man. We know it's pretty good actually. Yeah, it's um, really good. Because what it does is it turns the sunlight harsh when the Pokemon enters the battle. The ancient pulse, thrumming through the Pokemon. That's, oh, that's powerful. That's powerful. That's, powerful that's quite a there. sentence. Also boosts attack stat in harsh sunlight. Oh, it's on Coridon. It'll be insane. And it yep. powers up all the other little characters we talked about before. And Hadron Engine for Maridon is the same way, except with special attacks that. And that's it. Yep. And it's in electric terrain instead of uh, the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yep, these abilities are amazing. I don't know what else needs to be said. I don't know if we need to. I don't think we need to explain that to you. Mm, legendary uh, Pokemon with weather altering abilities are good. Wow, yeah, so Kyogre good. and Groudon say hello. And terrain, yes, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, these abilities are amazing. They're going to be broken. We already know it. Uh, we can move on. <laughs> I'm being an opportunist and moving on because I don't think yes, it's necessary. Sir. Because the next thing we have is opportunist. If opponent's stat is boosted, the, po the Pokemon seizes the opportunity to boost the same stat for itself. And this is exclusive to Espathra, uh, which is the Ostrich Psychic type Pokemon. Uh, I think this is really good. Um, I think this is better Dancer, if you guys remember uh, Oracorio's ability, where it could copy the opposing Pokemon's dance moves when they use them. Uh, this is just better that. It's just way better Dancer, in my opinion. Um, basically, let's say... You have this thing out in front of a Swords Dance. Well, that Swords Dance is mine, sucker. And if it's... Esp Espathra, I believe, has really good speed. So it can probably outrun a lot of Pokemon that try to set up in front of it. And then just go from there. Same thing. Free Call Mind. Free Nasty Plot. All of that cool stuff. So you don't need to run boost, uh, boosting uh, moves on this Pokemon if you can switch in at a proper time and save yourself the cut room for coverage moves. Um, so yeah, I think this ability is really good. What about you? I think it's good. Uh, I think it's definitely one of those abilities where the more game knowledge you have, the better player you are. It's definitely going to be a much better ability. Like, they kind of scale to the level of the player, how good they are, you could argue. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's good. I don't know how great the ostrich will be, but I think its stats are fine. So, it's got it good thumbs. special attack and speed. Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, and wait, sorry. I was just... You know, chewing on a little snack right now. <laughs> munch, munch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> like uh, Paul Dantoros and Frigoraph. Yeah. Chew on crunch with the cut chew ability. Which, when a Pokemon with this ability eats a berry, it will eat it one more time at the end of the next turn. I think it's kind of it's kind of good enough. Yeah. It's pretty good. I agree. It's like the it's kind of like the Trevenant, like the Harvest one with the berry cycling. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I know. Uh, uh, Wolf Click talked about it and made it work. A similar ish ability so it's got to be good right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. i think that's, it's that's yeah I, say. I think it's pretty good um basically the way i see it is you're giving yourself like free double citrus berry or free salak berry two free salak berries to boost your speed two stages you can do the same thing with pataya berries give yourself a free nasty plot essentially yeah i think it's yeah. really good um i think it might not see a ton of play but yeah um it's got really high special attack its speed's a little bit lacking so maybe that double speed from a Salak Berry actually could come really in handy. So maybe you could run something like Sub, Nasty Plot, Salak Berry with like two, with like Psychic Hyper Voice or something. I could see that being pretty good to get your double Salak Berry and then kind of just sweep from there. I might, that might be my day one set that I run on, uh, on, on the game. I think that might be fun. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a really good Yeah, move. I think just, you know, run, in, run some Furgraph sweeps with some cool Berry shenanigans in the game will be pretty fun. Oh, I yeah. also like that you, even generically, just slap two healing berries on it, and you're a bulky enough Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Just like two healing berries for a gym, even if you don't want to, you don't want to think, just like, ah, put like a citrus berry on it or something, and just throw it out in the middle of the gym battle, you know? Yeah, very true. All right. You know what, Joe? You know what is bad? You know what, Joe? What? You're pretty sharp. Oh, no, I, I had a good one. Oh, you're, I was going to say. You're pretty you sharp, buddy. You know what's buddy. bad? I said, you know what's bad? Getting stabbed. <laughs> Sharp. That's what I was gonna say. Yours is pretty good. Pretty sharp. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, sharpness. Yeah. Sharpness powers up slicing moves by 1.5 times. Again, same thing with wind moves. Uh, we don't really have clarification on what a slicing move is. I would assume something like slash, maybe psycho cut, um, leaf blade, which makes Ceaseless sense that why it's on ceaseless edge. Yeah, that makes sense why it's on uh, Hisuian Samurott. What is um, Cleaver's uh, Rock Scythe move that it has? I've never used one, so I do not know. Never mind. Um, yeah, I think this could be pretty good. It's basically just a free boost, especially if it's, it's if it's going to stack with Stab on something like Delayed, where it's like you throw out a Psycho Cut, and then you get Stab boost on top of that, plus this move, and you've already set up a Sword Stance. I think it could be really powerful, especially on these Pokemon. It looks like they can take advantage of it pretty well. So yeah, I think it's going to be a really good one. What do yeah, you think? this reminds me of Iron Fist, and it's a pretty good ability. Yep, right. Iron Fist is very, very good. I think it's better than Iron Fist, because I think Iron Fist is 1.3, right? Or is it 1.5? I 1. have 5? no idea. 
I wonder. I, I would think they make them the same, but I'm looking through the notes and some of them are 1.3, 1.5. Yeah, I don't know. It might. It might be better. I mean, I, would... I think. I think the slicing moves are probably better than the elemental punches. No, like maybe not as widespread, but like Leaf Blade for like his coverage for a lot of these Pokemon. Mm -hmm. is pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah, it probably is a little better. Maybe you could argue. If it is 1.5, what you're saying. Not it's 1.3. Bro, it's 20 percent. It is 20%, yes. Iron Fist of, is 20%. Uh, is... That's oh, not... Iron Fist is also 1.5, right? Or... Iron Fist is also 1.5... I... Hold on, is it 1.5 times? or? Yeah, because that would... Wait. Yeah, yeah. I'm so Bro, confused. You teach math, you teach math. You should know I know, that. I know, I know. Stop, oh. you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Got him. I don't understand. Cause... So a 20% buff, that would bump it up to 120%, right? What do you mean? So if like if a Pokemon's move does hundred damage, or it has hundred power, it, with Iron Fist boosting it by twenty percent, the power becomes one hundred and twenty percent, right? I think I don't know. Well, if you multiply hundred times one point five, that's I only hundred and fifty. That's one hundred and fifty though. That's what I'm saying. Like it goes up from like Iron Fist is one hundred and twenty percent, whereas this is one hundred and fifty percent. I think. Unless I'm insane and have no idea what I'm talking about, I need to go back to school because I don't know how to teach math. But I believe this is better than Iron Fist. I mean, am I crazy? Am I insane? It's it's good, guys. I don't know. Let's, let's just leave it there. It's good. Maybe I need to go back really to school. Me. Maybe I need to go back to school and, and should, I don't, rethink I don't even my teaching know. career. I'm so confused. I don't even know if I'm agreeing with you or disagreeing with you. <laughs> I was about to ask. I'm kind of like, what? It's, it's good. Well, because isn't... <laughs> okay. American education. Oh, my lord. Well, because isn't 1.3 times power 30% increase? I have a, I have a master's, master's degree, by the way. Holy. Yes, Seven he does. Math, you're very math. you're very smart, though. No, 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 no. Well, that's... Well, my, I mean, my philosophy is... You know, most people are pretty normal. You're, and that could be you're proficient, like, like absurdly proficient in some things, and, like, absurdly stupid in things. I am absurdly stupid now. I am really <laughs> But one might say you're possibly supreme in other things. Yeah, like getting bitches. Okay. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who is this one? So who is supreme? Do I have this one or do you, do you have it? And you just want to do it? Do I have it? You want to do the transition or what? I think it's you, and I was just trying to transition. Me? All right. Sorry. Uh, let me just readjust by putting on my supreme gear. I'm talking about. Supreme Overlord. Alright, what is your Supreme Gear? I need to know now. I don't own that, dude. I don't have any money. Oh. I can't afford brand clothing. <laughs> I'm homeless. I'm in the hotel right now. But anyway, Supreme Overlord. When the Pokemon enters a battle, its attack and special attack stats are slightly boosted for each of the allies in its party that have already been defeated. I think King Gambit's got it. Pretty fitting ability. As they I told all you gotta beat the crap out of your own brothers and sisters with that item. I think if you get priority on this thing, that seems pretty good, you know? Yep, I think yeah. this is the hands-down best ability we've talked about so far. I would be more inclined to agree if this thing had a speed stat to speak of, you know? What is its speed stat? Do you know? I think it's like sub-50, right? At least. It's really terrible. I, I would hope so, because I feel like it would need to be. Uh, it is no. 50, you are correct. Yeah, okay, well, it's technically not sub-50. I was actually incorrect. Was exactly <laughs> 50. But yeah. I mean, Bitchurp gets Sucker Punch. I'm just saying. So this thing probably gets Sucker Punch, which is priority. I would. Which is disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can't toxic it either. Nope, Steel. immune. Oh my yep, you can burn it, thankfully. So there's yeah, that, at least. Yeah, but Willow is that's not hundred percent accurate. Yeah, at that oh. point it's probably better just to flamethrower it if you're using Will O Wisp. Um, yeah, I think this is the best uh, ability we've talked about. If you send it out last in a singles battle after your entire team has been KO'd except for this, it gets a free plus five attack. If you have like sticky web or something set up, or if you have priority, this thing is just gonna go to town and wreck the opposing team. Like this thing is I think this is probably gonna get banned. It, it this is this is insane. You're getting free boost for that. It is insane. It's also just a stat stick with a pretty good type. 135 uh, physical attack, I believe. 
free free boosts and buffs and whatnot only. Yep. That's really good. It's insane. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and you can pair it with its brother in arms, Flamigo, with Co Star. When the Pokemon enters a battle, it copies an ally stat changes. That actually could be pretty interesting, especially in doubles. I mean, it wouldn't be plus five, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that could be pretty good, though. Mm hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, do you want to start this one? Or do you want me to start it? Oh, this is the Flamigo one? Yeah. I, I was going to just say, I think Flamigo is a fine Pokemon. I don't think it had anything that really made it stand out, but I think in a limited dex format, it could be okay. And I think it's a really interesting ability that definitely it's one of those ones that scales off game knowledge, player knowledge. Mm -hmm. Just how, better, how good the player is. Definitely. In theory, it could really suck, you know, like you pivot it in on Intimidate and you're just ruined. You know? Yup. Big sad. So yeah, what do you think? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it could have some practical use in doubles. Obviously, in singles, I can't really see this thing being good at all because you don't have allies. But in a doubles this format... For a play for you, by the way. Yeah, really. very much no so. Yep. I'm hoping that maybe it gets other abilities for playthroughs because I would consider using it. Um, but overall, I, I think it's good in doubles and absolutely useless in singles. Um, I think it could be good, especially if oh, you have like... Ability, apparently. Oh, there we go. You get Scrappy or Tangled Feet. Scrappy's pretty Scrappy's good. Hit hit ghost types with fighting moves. That's not bad. Yeah. Like um, I think so. Um, Co-Star, yep. Yeah, I think it's good, especially if you get a Pokemon boosted up and switch in and take those boosts too. Could be pretty good. I yeah, think and so. Flamigo also 115 attack, 90 speed. That's not bad. That's that not bad at all. You, you, it's like you set up a sword dance turn or something before that, or like maybe a dragon dance, you know, and you throw your boy in. Flamigo. Oh yeah. Holy. Give it a quick balls. plus one, plus one, real quick. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Next up, we've got Toxic Debris, which is the signature ability of Glamet and Glamora. Uh, the user scatters poison spikes at the feet of the opposing team when the Pokemon takes damage from physical moves. I think this is either pretty good or really good. Uh, we don't know if the poison spikes are regular toxic spikes or if they're the ones that actually cause toxic poisoning. Uh, because toxic poisoning, of course, being different than regular poisoning, it builds up over time, whereas regular poisoning is just a constant damage amount. Um, if it's tox, I, I think this could either be good either way, but I think the actual like toxic version could be insanely good. It's basically just free toxic spikes for basically just doing nothing, just taking a hit. So if you just got switched into like a fake out or something, okay, here are my toxic spikes. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I think this is I think this is pretty good overall. Um, yeah, I, I I like it quite a bit. Yeah, no, I, I think it'd be good either way. I just. I think it's good, you know, entry hazards. Always yeah, good. good. Yeah, always good. Um, I think this Pokemon, too, is relatively bulky. has half-decent stats all around. I mean, I can see. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. like you said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does have, like, pretty good stats overall. Yep. Yeah. Um, 83 HP, 90 defense, 130 special attack, 81 spadef, 86 speed. Dang, this yeah. thing is good. I kind of want to use this. I heard it's available pretty late. Ah, well, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, you could, you could maybe like maybe you could do a raid for it or something. I mean, you don't know. Maybe we'll see. But you know what? Also, you could do a raid for is for a giraffe. I maybe. would much rather do a raid for for a giraffe. And he has armor tail, which makes opposing Pokemon a unable to use priority moves. I'm gonna say it. I think this is really bad because for a giraffe is really slow and bulky. So why would he care about priority moves? That's Got true, it. but also... No, I think it's still really good. I mean, just the <laughs> fact that you can shut off. I mean, this this messes with what your opponent can do. I think in maybe doubles, it's probably a lot better. Just have them sit there and exist and maybe bolster its stats or do something. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine. I, I definitely think this is not good for a playthrough, though. I think you definitely want the berry one. I think the berry one's probably. funny, too. Yeah, I think the berry one's funny. Um, I think it could be good. My main thing I was wondering was... Does uh, moves that are changed to priority from Prankster count? Because I think that could be good to just block all of those. Yeah. Um, but if not, then I think it's still decent. I don't think it's as good as if it blocked Prankster otherwise. 
But uh, being immune to Sucker Punch is never a bad thing. Being able to be immune to um, Bullet Punch. I think this actually could be good too on like a sweeper version uh, in some cases. So that if you ran max speed on this thing, you weren't getting revenge yeah, killed. In case you don't get cheesed. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like by a Bullet Punch or by a Sucker Punch or something. So yeah, I think this could have some practical use. I think Cud Chew is probably still going to be the better one. But I could see it being pretty good. Yeah, no, I, I, I still think it's good. It's just I feel like... Serena has a similar one. I feel like it's yep. better on a Pokemon like Serena just because of how its stats are. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Definitely, because it's a, it's quite a bit faster than Furgraph. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, doesn't Bruxish have an ability like this as well? Dazzling? Isn't that like this I've, as well? I've never even looked at that thing. <laughs> oh, I used it in my Ultra Sun or uh, Ultra Moon playthrough. It was pretty good. Why would you admit that to your. I like Bruxish. It was pretty good. Oh my, oh my goodness. It was good! I got dirt in you forever. <laughs> Yo, this idiot used a Bruxish. Can you believe that? Uh, I mean, it's got. I mean, it's probably a pretty good place to go for. It was. It was really good. Water psychic, good type combo. It was fun. Uh, speaking yeah. of fun, haha. <laughs> uh, we have our next ability up, Earth Eater, I was which you say eating dirt and worms. You know, eating dirt and, and worms. worms. <laughs> That's what I think. You go for uh, um, a muddy Sunday or something. Dude, I have pudding and gummy worms at home right now. I'm gonna eat. Hey, them. there you go. So this is the exclusive ability for Orthworm. Uh, if a poke, if hit by a ground type move, the Pokemon has its HP restored instead of taking damage. I think this ability is great. Uh, Twenty five percent too, by the way. That's not as good as like a fifty percent, but that's still pretty dang good. It gets rid of a weakness too. Exactly. That's insane. So, yeah, it, it's a pure steel type, so it's weak to ground, which is probably one of the best offensive types in the game, if not the best. So being immune to not only that, but also being immune to your own weakness is insane. And adding on to that, it heals you too. So that is really good. You can really pivot around this thing pretty well. I was thinking about it, and this thing seems like a, a not quite as defensive Steelix, but with less weaknesses. That's kind of the vibe I was getting. I think this thing is going to be pretty decent as like a pretty good wall because really as long as you can account for its like fire and fighting weaknesses, you're pretty set. Like this thing feels, I feel like it could wall a lot of other stuff because pure steel is a pretty good typing. So yeah, I think this could be a pretty good mod. I think this ability is really great. What do you think? Yeah, no, I definitely think it patches. I think it's definitely a better version of a lot of those first few abilities we talked about because it's just net to you. It's just a huge net positive. I mean, it gets rid of you one of your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And Ground's a really good type to have an answer to. Very so, much so. Yeah, no, I, I really like it. I don't like the Pokemon. Really <laughs> right Throw another jab, why not? It's <laughs> fair. And then, I know, uh, I know, I know you love mushrooms. <laughs> this is mycelium mite. That's Fun. The, that's the that's the that's the transition. <laughs> Uh, the Pokemon will always act more slowly when using status moves, but these moves will be unimpeded by the ability to target. Toad's cool, and Toad's cool, get it. Um, so this just lets you like poison an immunity Pokemon, basically. Let's say. Seems like it. Yep. Um, so this is strictly anecdotal, and it's definitely like it's not in competitive. I did a Nuzlocke a while ago. I had Tentacruel. And I felt like one of the huge benefits to using Tentacruel was I could outspeed a lot and just toxic immediately and not have to worry about it and then pivot into a different Pokemon. And it was great. So I, I really don't know how I feel, but I think being able to hit status, I think it'll be relevant, but not relevant enough for people to care or be a really big selling point. I mm -hmm. see if it has any other abilities. I'm going to check that right now while you talk about it because I'm not really too sure <laughs> pros and cons on that, you know? <laughs> So I assume you can't poison a steel. It's not an ability. No, 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 no. I would, I would assume not. That would, that would be giga broken, like the corrosion, like how Salazzle has. Yeah. That'd be insane. So my, the way I interpreted it was kind of how you mentioned at first, like you can poison a muni Pokemon, you can paralyze a Pokemon that has limber, the fire poke, the Pokemon that were immune to fire, like we talked about earlier, you could burn them, that kind of stuff. So you're not impeded or held back by their ability. It's just you're Im held back by your own speed and your ability to move uh, sooner, which does kind of stink because Tentacruel is a speedy boy, but I think this ability overall is pretty good um, just because it's a free status on Pokemon you might otherwise not be able to. So on something like the Pokemon we talked about earlier, like Backscalibur, 
being able to burn it. I don't know if this thing is will wisp probably not. It's grass ground. But even still, just being able to burn something like that is pretty dang good. Uh, a Pokemon that you normally couldn't burn is actually able to be burned now. Snorlax being able to be toxic is uh, pretty big. Can uh, slowly whittle that down over time. Yeah, I think it could be really good. I think it has some practical uses. Yeah, I'd agree. I think so far at the sheet I'm looking at too, this is the only ability this Pokemon gets, so... Yes. Who cares? You're kind of stuck with it. I, I believe that is true. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think I think it's more more positive than negative, though. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think this has a really like positive uh, especially side now for too, sure. You're like even if you had, could run toxic on this thing, you're not guaranteed to hit because you're not a poison type anymore. Right. So I don't know. I guess if you can get some powders or something going, I have to see the move pool. I guess to really also see how good it is. True. 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 I don't know. I, I think it's going to be pretty good, but yeah, I think the I think the moves will definitely be the final say in that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been recording like forty five minutes. So what I do you think? I think the moves should be a second video. I think so too. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> so sorry we uh, we kind of baited you guys. Uh, we're gonna save the the moves till the next video. But yeah, we that because is. We hate you. Um, I hate you, I mean love you. I yeah. Mean, content leading up to the release of the game. So that's right. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Uh, <laughs> I hate totally. the way you said totally. We love our fans. <laughs> but only if they comment and only say positive things. Yeah. I love all, I love all my subscribers. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to pause it right here. Um, so we covered all the abilities. Uh, next time, we'll probably cover the moves. We also do have other videos planned for both um, Scarlet and Violet as well as just other Pokemon games in general. So make sure you guys are subscribed to both of us so you are notified about when those come out. we got a lot of things in store, a lot of things we're both really excited about. We're excited to bring content to you guys. It's new Pokemon game season. It's, it's one of the best times of the year, and I am super excited to make content for you all. I know Joe is too, and Joe, I just want to say... Thank you for being my co-pilot and uh, my co-star back to the uh, Flamingo Pokemon again. Uh, I appreciate you uh, doing this with me. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun, my man. I'm down to be the Flamingo, man. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it, brother. Uh, make sure you guys drop a subscribe to Joe. His link will be in the description below. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Joe, anything to add before we go? I love Pokemon. That was really terrible. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Uh, more videos coming soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for checking this out. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and drop, dro and drop a subscribe for Joe as well. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you have a good one and peace.